Hi guys, okay, so it's officially Vlogtober day three. This one's gonna be like a random vlog, but I decided I'm gonna kick it off, or kick things off, by trying out Burger King's Impossible Whopper. I'm currently still in Boston, um, and my mom decided to get Burger King. I rarely eat fast food anymore. Um, if I do, it's like Chick-fil-A, but it's been years since I've had Burger King. Um, but I thought I'd give their Impossible Whopper a try. I'm not gonna lie. I was not a fan of the normal Whoppers growing up. I feel like I'm sitting so awkwardly right now because where the camera is right now, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to sweat, but I'm gonna try out their Impossible Whopper and show you my genuine reaction on camera. So here goes. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a normal like veggie burger, honestly. It's not too bad. If you guys have tried out, if you're a fan of Whoppers, let me know. But if you tried the Impossible Whopper and you like it, let me know down below in the comments. But here goes. Oops. Oh no. Okay. Oops. Cover my face. This part looks like a hearty bite. So I'm going to take this bite right here. Okay. 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 Here goes. It's actually not that bad. Hmm. It's actually not bad. I actually kind of like it. I would order this again. If we were like on a road trip and we decided to go through, we decided to go through a fast food place, I would order this again. I like it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like a five star, but definitely something I would order again at a fast food place. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Getting ready to head home with the girls. I always get anxious on travel days, especially if I'm traveling by myself with the girls. But I gotta pack my carry-on, which I'm gonna check because that's just the bag that I use to pack everything. And I'm a little nervous. So I did pack a bunch of stuff in the hubby's bag in hopes that I would fit everything in my carry-on, but I feel like I should have put more stuff in his bag. But this is what I'm working with here. I have to pack all this. I have to somehow fit everything in this carry-on. Let me know down below if I do it. <laughs> Pause the video right now and let me know if I can make it but we're gonna see what happens. So, let's do this. Alright, we are all checked in and made it through security. I have to say, being TSA pre has been life changing. It makes the check in process so much easier with kids. Highly recommend it. It's definitely worth the process. Flying solo with kids definitely gets easier with time and practice. This is like the sixth time now I've flown with a girl solo and I still don't consider myself an expert, but I do find it easier mentally. Um, I'm just better prepared, and again, TSA Pre is life-changing. Kim is definitely Miss Independent these days. Here she is handing over her boarding pass. Um, she's been doing this the past few trips now and she just loves it. So she got a little ahead of herself. Um, but yeah, she just gets so excited. Okay, so we're back from Boston. 
the hubby picked us up earlier today but I have not picked up my camera because I'm an idiot <laughs> um, at least I feel like an idiot um, the hubby picked us up today I had my phone um, I texted him to tell us what pickup zone to pick us up in and as we were arriving to our house I went to go check my phone and I realized I didn't have it or I thought I had misplaced it somewhere in the car <sighs> after like searching and looking I realized I had lost my phone and we were about to drive back to the airport but as soon as the hubby tried calling my phone it was turned off someone had picked up my phone turned it off so I feel like it was definitely stolen because why else would it why else would it be turned off and I've just been feeling like crap the rest of the day just thinking about it so I was just trying to take all the necessary steps to like you know make sure my information is safe um, that you know no one uses my phone I mean thankfully obviously there's a, a passcode that goes with it my face ID but I just wanted to like make sure that I went into the find my iPhone um, under settings and for some reason I couldn't erase the phone but I was able to put it in lost mode so I was reading up on that and that really helps you know to make sure that no one uses my phone or gets my information but I'm without a phone <laughs> so friends and family who are watching this I don't have a phone so you can't contact me I will figure out how to get in touch with you guys um, I know the hubby's gonna leave his phone at home for me so I can just make sure I can contact the necessary people um, hopefully get a new phone but I don't see that happening I don't know this week <laughs> so anyway I've just been feeling so down about it I am feeling better but I needed a moment um, but also because um, I'm with Sprint and I'm leasing the phone technically it's part of like the lease agreement and I found out when I was letting the people at Sprint know that I lost my phone or got stolen that because it's a lease and I don't have insurance because I'm an idiot <laughs> um, we're gonna have to pay for the phone that was leased because obviously it's technically not my phone but then also if I want a new phone I have to buy a new phone or whatever so that's a lot of money and I just can't get myself to like, I don't know, get a new phone. I just feel like that's so expensive. But anyway, I'm just feeling like so frustrated with myself, especially after like a day of traveling. I was just, I feel, I feel like when I am traveling by myself or I'm with the girls by myself, I'm so alert and aware of my surroundings that as soon as I saw the hubby pull up, I just like, everything just... I don't know. I think I just stopped thinking about things. I just wanted to get in the car. I didn't even think to figure out, to make sure like I had my phone, my things. So I'm just like so frustrated with myself, but I don't know. I mean, after talking to the hubby about it and, and feeling, you know, I think I was in, in, in a state of shock for a while, but after going through that and being stressed and frustrated and, and talking to the hubby about it, I do feel a little bit better. Um, I mean, it's just a phone. I know it's replaceable, but I think it just, I cringe at how much money it is and all that stuff. So anyway, that's why I haven't picked up the camera since the airport because I lost my phone. So anyway, um, I know, again, I know it's replaceable. I just, I feel like I just need a moment to like gather myself. Um, but yeah, anyway, I wanted to update you guys on that. Um, kind of bums me out to kick off Vlogtober with like frustrating news, but again, it's just an object. We got home safe, so I'm grateful for that. Nabi was able to pick us up, so anyway, it's just annoying if that makes sense. I feel like I'm just annoyed. Um, but anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end the vlog here though. I feel like I can't take any more today, so I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm gonna hang out with the hubby. It's been a few days since I've seen him, so this is it. Uh, if you guys have any advice as to what to do with the stolen phone and we don't have insurance for it, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, um, as always, give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!